Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. Today we're going to work on finding the zeros of a function using the graph. Now if you've heard this word before, you might have been a little bit uh, confused as to what you're looking for. Well, a zero of a function is a value that makes the function equal to zero. So all we're looking for is, you know, what is the value that when you plug it in, the whole function goes to zero. Now what makes this process really easy is that a function is equal to zero at its x-intercepts. So this is something that you may have been finding already, you just never realized that they're actually called zeros as well. Let's look at this visually to see exactly what we're looking for. So suppose I have this function, you can see that it's curvy, it's all over the place, and that it actually crosses the x-axis at a few different spots. Crosses it here, here, and one more time over here. All three of these spots, uh, wherever they're located, I could call them my x-intercepts, or I could call them my zeros of the function. So now we'll do a little bit of practice finding these zeros uh, with some actual functions. Let's start off with this one. So we can see that the function crosses the x-intercept, or x-axis at negative 6, it touches at 4, and it touches at 8. So I'd say that the zeros of the function are at x equals negative 6, another one at 4, and one more at 8. Nice and easy, just like that. Let's try one more. Here's a little bit more curvy of a function, and you can see that it actually crosses the x-axis four times. No worries. Each of these I will call my zero. So when x equals negative 7, again when it equals negative 2, at 3, and 9. So this one has 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and it's really easy to spot them from the graph. Now there's many other ways to find zeros, um, and you'll see these as you start digging deeper into the special techniques. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching My Secret Math Tutor.